Wait, so you are making Manulo? You? Yep, go ahead and just keep on watching. everyone and welcome back to the Fortitude Fix. I hope you're well. I'm actually going to be starting off today's vlog in the parking lot. I am headed over to my local Mexican specialty store to grab some ingredients because I am going to be making menudo. So I have my mask, I have my shopping bags and everything that I need and I wanted to take you all along with me. All right so let's put this on and go inside. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is stop by and get some limes. And right now they are four for a dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and bag up four limes and keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. And grab some Mexican oregano. And then I'm gonna head here and I am going to grab some of the guajillo chili pods. If I find a smaller one, I will get a smaller one. And then there is the can of hominy. I'm gonna see if there's a smaller can inside. It's only the two of us. So uh, before I buy this big one for $5.59, I wanna make sure that I can check inside. Okay, so I'm going to get two onions. Oh. I'm going to get some garlic as well. Got the garlic. Okay, so we're going to get some of this good polio. See. $3.99 for, I think, a lot. <laughs> I'll get the big can. There's that one for $1.99. Oh, the big homie for $5.59. So it's super busy over there, but I ended up getting the chile cocina, the guajillo, and the chile de algo. And then I got the big can of homies. Okay, so now I'm gonna go pick up the honeycomb tray. back to my car got all the ingredients that I need and I'm super excited about it so I'm gonna get home and show you what I got all right hey everyone so I got some hand sanitizer on my hands I probably look a mess does anybody else's nose run 
<laughs> when you're wearing a mask. Whew. So okay, that was a full-on experience and I was, I'm not familiar with this, I'm familiar with this store brand but not this location so I didn't know where things were and uh, when I got in line there was this older like man who he was like wow he's like lots of new stuff in here for you huh <laughs> and I was like uh kind of <laughs> but um yeah so I think we did good I will go ahead and Sorry, I was putting my card back in my wallet. So I will go ahead and head back home and I will show you everything that we got for some delicious menudo. Hey everyone, so we are in my kitchen and I am so ready to start the menudo. I will go ahead and share the list of ingredients and then show you how I cook this amazing, amazing recipe. So if you are interested in seeing how I make this menudo for the first time, go ahead and just keep on watching. Okay, and so for this recipe, you are going to need two white onions, an entire bulb of garlic, limes, some oregano, bay leaves, chile guajillo, chile pasilla or ancho chiles, chile de arbol, fresh cilantro, honeycomb tripe, can of hominy, and some good bolillo. You will also need your stove, of course, a really big pot. So this is my gumbo pot, so I will be using this. And you will need another pot for the chiles, as well as a strainer. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I'm going to do is prepare my honeycomb tripe. I want to cut it into about one inch thick slices, not too small because it is going to cook down in the soup. So what I did here is that you want to make sure you get the most expensive honeycomb tripe because this is going to be the better cut. It's going to leave your broth nice and flavorful and clear. So. Yeah, I was just told to get the the better honeycomb tray. So I have three pounds. I honestly don't know how much is too much, but this is what we're going with. <laughs> so with impeccably clean hands, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting. If you see any fat, you want to just go ahead and get rid of that. some fat inside you want to make sure to get rid of that this kind of reminds me of like when my mom used to clean chitlins and stuff so I hear you want to get rid of the fat because it can make your soup like really dirty and you want a nice clear clean broth all right so now that I got my honeycomb tripe all cut up I put it in the sink and I am going to go ahead and wash this in the sink. Some of you, this may not be your vibe. You can also use a colander or something like that to run underwater, but I cleaned my sink and yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt as well, just to help aid in the cleaning process. So when you're confident that you've gotten all the fat, that you've cleaned it really well, go ahead and put it in your big soup pot or what I call my gumbo pot. <laughs> and what I've noticed during this process is that there really shouldn't be a smell. I saw that in my research as well, which is probably one of the reasons why I was told to get the most expensive kind of tripe. And so to the pot of honeycomb, I'm going to add one lime. one onion, I'm going to add the two bay leaves, we have one and two.
Hey everyone, so it's been about an hour and a half or so since I put everything on the stove. So now it is time to prepare our chili. I want to show you what the pan looks like right now and then we'll get started on the chili. Okay, so here's what it looks like now. As you can see, it's boiling away. So yay, that's good. And also you'll start to notice that there's some like foam around the edges. Do your best to kind of skim that out. Okay, you want to make sure that your broth is clear and not kind of clouded with this. So you probably don't want to use a slotted spoon like I am, <laughs> but um, something like a wooden spoon and just kind of go along the edges. You might be catching some of the oregano when you do this, um, but that's okay. You can always add some more oregano later. So it's still not done yet, but let's go ahead and get into the chiles. I have my chiles. I put them in here. I prepped some of them already. What I want to do is show you. So for the guajillo, basically you are going to take this, you're going to depod. So take this top part off. And then I'll show you right now. Go ahead and dump all of the seeds that are in here into like your trash bowl or whatever. So you want to get rid of all of those seeds inside. Or at least do the best that you can. We'll strain it later so, you know, don't have to worry too hard. Also, there's like a little stem inside. If you can grab hold of that and like pull it out as much as possible, that's good too. Because that holds a lot of seeds. So once you do that, go ahead and throw it in the pot. I'm going to do the same thing for the ancho chili. So go ahead and take this stem off. These ones are a little bit more tough. Um, they're kind of like the consistency of prunes, if not like a little bit harder. So do the same thing, take the stem off like so. And then get all those seeds out. Once I do that, I'm gonna throw it in my pan. I'm going to fill it with water. I'm going to cover the chiles with water and then put it on the stove to boil for about 10 or 15 minutes or so. Also, I noticed that the chiles were a little bit dirty on the outside. I felt like some grit on my fingers when I was doing this. So I just went ahead and gave them a little bit of a rinse and then I filled the pot with water. Okay, so I'm gonna carry this over to the stove. Go ahead and let those come to boil and then I'll show you what's next. Now that I have the chiles on to boil, I'm going to get started with our hominy. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this hominy. I'm going to use my strainer to strain it and give it a nice little rinse. this all rinsed I'm gonna go ahead and remove one cup and I'm gonna use the one cup of hominy to thicken up my chili sauce okay so I have my one cup I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside the rest of this is gonna go ahead and go inside of my pot of my noodle go ahead and throw that in okay that's a good amount for me what I heard was, during my research, if you go ahead and mix it in and you pull up your spoon and you see that there's hominy there, that's how you know you have enough. If you are doing this and you don't get any pieces of hominy in your spoon, you want to go ahead and add more. So this is perfect for us. Again, it's just the two of us. Our chiles are done boiling. I went ahead and turned off the heat. I'm going to go ahead and take my slotted spoon here. I'm going to put them in my bowl. This is where you would put them in a blender, but I don't have a blender. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so here are our chiles. To this, I'm going to add about one and a half cups. There's already still some juice in here. I'm gonna add about one and a half cups of the water that the chiles were in. Also going to throw in two garlic cloves. We're gonna put that cup of hominy that we reserved, as well as a little bit of salt. So like I said, this is when you would use, you put all of this in your blender. I have a hand blender, so that's what we're gonna be using. So here is what we are left with. It's pretty smooth, but what we are going to do is go ahead and pass it through a sieve or a strainer, whatever you like to say, <laughs> to put it in the menudo pot. So now it's been about 20 minutes since I put the hominy in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass my chiles through this to make sure it's nice and smooth and to make sure I do not have any seeds or any skin inside of my menudo. is when you get close to the end just go ahead and press down with your wooden spoon and you can get some more juices that way okay another tip that I learned so take your blender or in my case my bowl I'm gonna add a little bit more of the water from the chile and just kind of zhuzh it around okay because you don't want to leave anything in here. That's one thing I learned from my research. You don't want to leave any of the good chile behind. <laughs> Look at everything in there, right? Like, that's the skin and seeds. This is chunky stuff that you don't want inside of your menudo. Also, uh, I went ahead and removed the bay leaves. Okay, so I got both bay leaves. Honestly, I'm going to leave the garlic and the onion in here and the lime just add more flavor <laughs> all right so I'm gonna give it a nice stir I'm also gonna taste this for salt that needs more salt I'm gonna add a bit more oregano I'm also gonna add one of these the chile de arbol for a little bit of spice I'm gonna go ahead and let this keep going for another 20 minutes or so and then we'll be ready to eat. Well, I'm letting that hang out and do its thing, all those flavors meld together. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to put together all the fixins, right? So I chopped some cilantro, some onion, and I have some lime. That's traditionally what goes on top when you're about to eat your menudo. So I went ahead and prepped that. And some people like to put some additional salt or some additional oregano and you can do that as well so basically you can do whatever to the flavor that you want that's one thing i learned during my research is that you make it to your taste and you kind of fix it up and do it how you like so i will come back when we are all ready to make our bowls and eat things are looking great i'm gonna go ahead and plate up a bowl and show you how we do this. <laughs> All right, so here's the pot. I have a little, you know, this thing. All right, so now we are going to top with some onion. My husband really likes onions, so I'll put quite a bit in his. Put some in mine. Uh, some cilantro. And 
and then just a squeeze of lime. Here I have the bolillo. I have it, I just put some butter on it and put it in the oven on broil. You obviously can do this with a comal or things that you have at home. I don't have that, so I just put it in broil with uh, some butter. Essentially, you'll take your bolillo, you'll dip it, which I'm really excited about, and you'll eat it like that. So good, guys. So good. So, so good. All right, everyone. That is it for this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you are excited to make this recipe, let me know what it's like. Let me know what your experience is, if you liked it. I'll leave all of the quantities for the ingredients down below, as well as the original recipe from where I got this idea. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this upstairs to my husband, who is watching Baby Go right now. And we are going to eat together and enjoy. Oh, one more thing. I heard that you cannot have menudo without some cold Coca-Cola. So I am going to take this upstairs with our menudo and we are going to have an awesome, awesome time. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Remember to always fill your cup. Bye.